Okay guys, so um, like I mentioned in my previous post, right, like, you know, at first, I wanted to keep really mum about it, like, cause I broke up like in February, right? Yeah, and I wanted to, you know, keep this low and then like just forgive and forget. But then, the more I try to force myself to forget, right? You know, the more it haunts me and the more it hurts me. So I have decided to talk about it and, um, you know, it's something that is quite depressing for me, especially at that point of time I was sick. I was pretty sick to the extent that, you know, I was bedridden for a while. Yeah, and um, and guess what? You know, he decided to leave me at that point of time knowing that I was sick and that's like pretty F up, you know, like really, really. Like I can never imagine, I mean, I can never forget the fact that, you know, he actually just watched me collapse and he closed the door on me. Like, oh my God. Like, you know, as if I was nothing, like, eh? really. Okay, long story cut short. So basically, you know, things were going well until, like, you know, the fact that he started working. Yeah, and then um, he works every day. So basically, we don't really have time to meet except for eating. So even if I want to eat with him, um, we have to tap. I have to tap out in his workplace. Yeah, and um, also because, like, you know, his work is frustrating, I understand. I mean, like, you know, all works are frustrating, right? But... You know, he actually admitted that, you know, he vent all his frustration and anger on me. He admitted that, okay? Remember this? Yeah, so, um, you know, I was quite hurt by it. But then, you know, I, I actually thought like, I mean, I could understand because, you know, I'm also working. Yeah, so, um, then after that, things started spiraling down because my health was actually acting up, which I didn't know what exactly happened to me. So, yeah, so uh, I was actually like, actually it was feeling quite unwell every day. Yeah, so um, I actually thought it was heat stroke. Like, I legit thought it was heat stroke because like, you know, because, you know, in Singapore sun, right, it's always so hot and humid and I'm just like, ah, I can't breathe, must be the sun. So everything, I blame the sun, okay? Um, yeah, so, um, I mean, he did see me feeling unwell, but then he also didn't really care about it. He just like, oh, are you okay? Okay, okay, that's all. That's all he asked, okay? Yeah, and then, um, like, you know, it was quite serious to the extent that, you know, I have completely stopped eating. Yeah, and then, um, he also didn't ask me to go to the doctor or anything. Yeah, so one time we had this heated argument, okay? Yeah, and then he... Um, okay, we had this heat argument. Then I was very pissed off because he just tells me he doesn't know how to settle it. Everything he would just tell you, I don't know. So I was so pissed. I took a cup of water and I splashed it on him. And then you guess what happened next, okay? So what happened next was he actually stood up, grabbed me. He actually stood up, grabbed me by the hair and strangled me um, using his wrist, I mean his arms. Yeah, and then he punched me in the right eye. Yeah, and then my right eye went blind for a while. I was horrified, I tell you. Yeah, and then um, I up, went up and tell him, like, oh my god, shit, my, I can't see on my right eye. How ah? Uh? And then, you know, he literally just broke down. He was damn scared. Yeah, and then um, we thought of going to the doctor. But then, um, what are we going to tell the doctor, right? I can't possibly tell him that, you know, my boyfriend punched me, right? You know, so um, I told him, like, you know, um, how about I just ice pack it for a while and then um, I rest for a while and see how it goes just so I don't get you into trouble. Yeah, but then, you know, I really didn't went to the doctor. Though. He didn't really care about it as well. So he just let it go. Ah. So after that, after that day, right, you know, he didn't even ask about my eyes, you know. That's super, I don't know what to say. Obviously, um, I was at fault because I splashed the water first, right? But then, you me, right? Like, you know, you don't have the rights to hit me, right? Not at all. Like, who are you? Even my mom don't hit me like that, okay? So, um, but after that, I still chose to forgive him because I tell myself that, you know, oh, he acted in, in the heat of anger, like, you know, like, you know, then he decided to hit me, right? Yeah, but then, <laughs> biggest joke, of my life you know obviously he didn't cherish me at all yes i should have known that's one thing yeah and then um subsequently you know because um you know he kept wanting to have gathering with his friends and everything yeah but then you know like okay when he goes to work right sometimes i always tell him that you can go i mean like you, you want to go for a, um dinner with your friends or 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 colleagues or not then he always tell me oh no like it's okay i eat with you then after that he turn one big one and come and shoot me eh. what the heck 
Oh, and also because, right, like, you know, at that point of time, um, I, our relationship was at rock bottom. So I actually told him, like, you know, since you don't have time, I don't have time. Because he works the weekend, I off the weekends, right? So, you know, should we just, like, you know, spend more time together and let's just go out and try to make this relationship work, lah. But hell no, he said he wanted to have his own time, go out with his own friends and shit when our relationship is at rock bottom and he refuses to fix it, that's one thing. So, never mind. Then I told him, but can't you see that, like, you know, I am really not feeling very well. So can we just, like, you know, can you, like, you know, 照顾我一下, like, you know, stay at home and, like, take care of me for a little while. Because, you know, you can obviously see that, like, you know, I have been vomiting my guts out, right? I can't even eat. I've been eating so little, like, you know, just half a meal per day. But then he said, no, he said his freedom is, his freedom is more important. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> yeah, his freedom is more important. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I actually self-diagnosed myself. Like, I thought I had anxiety because my heart rate was really fast. And, um, like, you know, it has been affecting me so much that I have been collapsing on the streets. Not even on the streets, even in the toilet, even. Yeah, so, um, I thought I had anxiety. Yeah, but apparently not after multiple times of going back for reviews. And then they just found out that I have grave disease after drawing, like, tubes of blood. It's damn stupid. Like, cause, like, why couldn't you draw my blood in the first place, right? Like, you have to give me the wrong medication yeah then okay um let's continue on this okay so um like you know when i was like you know okay when you are sick right like you know you tend you tend to act, act up a little bit more like you know i was to be honest i was really acting up yeah and then after that he just decided to like you know f this shit i am going to leave yeah so he just decided to leave and then you know at that point of time right i was so desperate i literally went to beg him to stay yeah, so I was like, oh my god, please don't leave here, don't leave, like, you know, I really love you a lot, please don't do this, like, you know, but don't be stupid girls, like, you know, never ever beg for anything because, you know, even if they do come back, it's just pure pity, okay? Yeah, and then, um, you know, don't stoop to that level, okay, learn from me, be a sassy bitch, okay? You know, if I wasn't sick at that point of time, right, you know, I would have freaking, like, you know, I, I, I don't know, I, I should not say this, okay, because, you know, I have kids following me, so I shouldn't do this. Okay, yeah, but, you know, so at that point of time, he was super duper cool, okay? He, I collapsed, I collapsed at his doorstep, and he closed his door on me. Yeah, that's how cruel he was, like, you know, he didn't even care whether I was dead or not, eh. Like, I was like, oh my god, I was so shocked, really shocked. Like, I'm like, oh my god, I could never imagine him being such a cruel person, you know. Like, hello, I'm lying there. Oh yeah, so um, me and him, we are actually engaged and um, we had a BTO together, yeah. But then, um, after we broke up, right, like it has been less than about two months, yeah. And then guess what? He's attached again. Oh my god, you know, after all this he has done to me, he does not feel a single bit of remorse at all, eh. Like, you know, after hitting me, after like, you know, watching me collapse at his doorstep and just leaving me like that. He has no sense of remorse. He has never apologized to me. There was not a single story, single story, yeah. And um, like so, I thought to myself, like, you no, know, why the heck would I would forgive him, right? Like, it doesn't make sense at all. Like, you know, why would I want to force myself to forgive him? Forgiving him doesn't mean that you know it makes me feel better. No way. I want him to live in guilt. You know, like um, I want him to know that, like you know, dude, when you do something, you have to take responsibility for it. Okay, to be completely honest, right, you know, I know that he's not the only one at fault. I am at fault too. But then, you know, being sick wasn't my fault. And it is something that I do not have control over. Yeah, but then he does have the rights to leave me like that. But then not in this manner. You get what I mean? It's like, you know, you don't have to do this kind of shit to leave someone. To give someone so much pain, you get what I mean? Yeah, it's like, you know, when you give, when you propose and when you, you know, give me that ring at that point of time, you know, it's telling me that you would like to take responsibility. But then after that, when things, when shits happen, you just decided to tell me, oh shit, I want to give up. I don't want to do this anymore. Like, you know, do you take this as a joke or what? So I was, you know, I was... Yeah, okay, so um, it has been two months. Yeah, and then, um, till date, he hasn't even checked in on me like you know he never even asked me like you know 
hey are you feeling better you know not at all he just like you know move on with his life with a new girlfriend and all pretending that i did not exist at all yeah and then can you believe that i was actually his you know you don't see no i don't even believe it myself law please so it's like you know i just think that you know he's a joke he treated me like a joke so like you know people might think that why why am i like doing this like why am i talking shit about my ex and all but then you know i think he deserves it so that's all <laughs> i need to say so i mean like you know you hurt me so badly and you are getting away with all this no way i am gonna do it lord please it's like i don't care like you know how many followers you are or how are you gonna even watch this i'm just i just want to see what i want to say so well, um i am someone right that um i'll always straight up tell the guys that are interested in me that you know i'm actually not a very good girlfriend i am very hot tempered i'm very stubborn and all yeah and i am someone that needs a lot of time yeah so um you know guys when they want to chase you and everything they will tell you ah yeah okay okay i can one i can one i'm very patient i'm very good then blah 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 okay need the toe okay it's like you know everything will be okay at the fr at the start yeah but then after that as you get to know me more you experience the anger and then like you know or when things that are bad comes right like for example me falling sick like would you be able to handle it you never thought about that yeah so you know i re that's why i really can never trust people anymore it's like oh not again like you know all this it's gonna be a history again like, you know i am someone that loves reading tarot yeah and then uh, you know so i did I, I actually did tarot about my this breakup yeah so um, I did it with a few readers because, you know, I didn't believe it. But all of them tell me it was a third-party situation. So, um, you know, I don't have any proof. But then, you know, his his attitude towards me towards the end was, you know, actually pretty bad. Yeah, so, you know, it's a little bit suspicious. But I do not have any proof because I do not check his phone. Yeah, um, I actually do not go through his text or whatsoever you know so uh i have no idea what's going on yeah but then all my tarot told me that you know there's a third party situation and seeing how fast he has moved on you know i don't know whether he cheated on me or not it's up to you to decide so i will just put this poll below and then tell me if you think that he cheated or not okay yeah i just want to know what you guys think and also i just want to say uh fun short fun the how because you know after that, I just realized that, you know, a lot, a lot of people love me and I love you guys too, okay? Yeah. Why must outside be so loud when I say I love you guys? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, because, you know, I realized that, you know, a lot, a lot of people really loved me. Like, you know, when I was sick, they deliver food, they deliver, they even send packages to me and then I'm like really, really touched. Yeah, so, um, I also receive a lot of sweet messages in my DM as well. So, I really appreciate it and I, you know... Even I don't have a boyfriend, it's fine because I have you guys. Yeah, I love y'all. <laughs> yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoy this little story about breakup. Yeah, and I, you know, I hope if you are breaking up also, I am with you. So don't be sad, okay? Bye-bye.